Alrighty, welcome to it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is uh, the third and uh, final installment to our introduction package, which is titled What is Mind Power? So we've already explained and uh, tried to emphasize the fact that mind power is about your thoughts, it's about your emotions, and of course, ultimately, it's about the inspired action. So I think the question now is, what is inspired action? Well, a lot of people are familiar and perhaps uh, well introduced to the concepts of law of attraction. So we know about the principles of the universe. Uh, some people know about the laws of the, uh, you know, mother nature and science and quantum physics and so forth. Uh, some people are well acquainted with some kind of educational system or two. So we, we, we know the difference between the light and the dark. We know the difference between happiness and sadness, uh, positive, negative, um, up down, left, right, and so forth. So inspired action is pretty much the emphasis on positive actions as opposed to pressurized activity. And pressurized activity is usually negative action. Negative action is not mind power. So if you, for instance, are doing your work, you're doing your job, or you're employed, or you are in a relationship with someone, or you are doing something, or you're experiencing a condition, a circumstance, or you're attending an event, or you are experiencing whatever it is that you're going through in your life, your path, your journey, should you experience something that is apparently negative, at that moment in your space, you are experiencing something that is void, null, and non-existence within the realms of mind power. So it's almost like driving or eating. Eating is a process where food is digested into your body. You, you eat the food, you, you, you swallow, and you know it, 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 it's absorbed by your body. And that's the digestive system, for instance. And driving is the same thing. Walking is the same thing. Uh, it, it's a progressive thing. It's a progressive situation from A to B. So driving is from A to B. Hence, thinking is a A to B perspective. So a lot of people, for instance, when it comes to inspired action, law of attraction and mind power, I can do anything, I can be anything and I can achieve anything. That's where they are. They at A, the understanding perspective, but they not at the point of B, which is the manifestation process where you have the things that you want. You think of something and then it happens and you complete the process. So nothing happens to interrupt it and it doesn't take five years to achieve something that could be, uh, you know, realized within six months, you know. So a lot of people, for instance, experience difficulty, it's upstream, it's challenging, it's not easy, this is so unfair, the injustice behind it, oh my goodness, it's so, I need help, I don't know how to do this, I'm not coping, it's so stressful, the traffic, I can't go through this anymore, my manager this, my partner this, my, my children, my parents. So every individual on the planet, more than 90% of the individuals of our population globally experience some form of negativity. And from a mind power perspective, the reason is most people don't understand what mind power is. We don't understand it completely. We are also trying to understand it almost like science. The world of science just because a scientist is qualified to be a scientist doesn't mean that they know everything with regard to the world of science. Every person is always developing within their realm. So we as an entity and as an organization and myself as an individual too, I shall forever be a student uh, within the realms of understanding what mind power is. But the definition of mind power outside of myself too is it must be a complete successive transformative process where from the moment of conception and inception and coming up with an idea to the moment of manifestation and physicality and a tangible reality that uh, expresses itself and projects itself as a reality that can be witnessed and evidenced and experienced by other people outside of the perceiver. That process from a to B, that is the complete process of mind power. It is successful, it is successive, and it is positive in nature. Should you experience any kind of negativity, 
uncertainty, anxiety, stress, or whatever the case might be, it means that you've railed off from the main path. So it's like you've you've you, you've you've off ramped. You've you've um taken the wrong direction. Hence, a lot of people end up in a place where they feel lost, they feel confused, they are in a dark space, and ultimately the conversation then becomes you need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So seeing the light at the end of the tunnel is something that every person experiences. Um, you finding solutions and you trying to understand something will always and forever be a part of the journey. No person is perfect, myself included. I am a mind power coach, but I shall forever be in the process and the journey of trying to get more information with regard to mind power. Because as you would know, as human beings, we're not, we fully and, and potentially using uh, our peak level of performance when it comes to our brain and our mind. Our thinking processes, our emotional content and intelligence, and our actions are not at the point where we are functioning at our best performance level. So we haven't reached our peak as mankind, and that is simply because of the elements that are involved within this mind power topic. It is very broad, it is enormous, it is gigantic. We as an organization can never fully comprehend and do justice to this topic. There will always be more and more people that probably haven't even been born today that will discover more information with regard to what mind power really is. But with the little information that we have today that's available, we believe strongly that uh, we can achieve great results because it is very simple within itself. It is a, a, an equation, it's about thoughts, plus emotion is equals to the actions plus the reaction. So mind power is a formula really. It's, it's about it's thoughts plus emotion equals to the actions plus the reactions. So the actions and reactions aspect of this uh, equation, that's the reality side. That's now the manifestation because both of them are realities. But you see, when it comes to your thoughts and emotions, we've got the intangible unseen reality. This is the formation stage. And then the equals to sign, that's the information stage, for instance. So it is in formation. So it is being formed. It is in the process of being formed. What's in the process of being formed? Whatever it is that you're thinking and whatever it is that you're feeling is in the process of being formed. So we call this the transformation process. The manifestation is in, it's twofold, really. There's the action and then there's the reaction. So there's the response. So you take an action, you do something, you, you apply yourself, you register, you, you propose something, you present yourself, you project an idea, you do something, you go knocking on doors, you go seeking, you go, um, you know, just going through different stages of uh, a reality and manifestation. For instance, cooking. Um, Going through something where you take some kind of action, that is your part. So you've thought of something, you are feeling something about it, therefore you end up believing, for instance, those are your thoughts, those are your habitual patterns of activity on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the transformation is what happens, and, and that's what we call momentum, for instance. The actions that you take on a day-to-day -day basis and then the reactions, that's what forms the ultimate reality. And that's the tangible, physical aspect of mind power. So mind power is really composed of the unseen physical forces as well as the seen physical forces. So here it's non-physical and over this perspective, it is physical. So if you think about all the technology, for instance, that's been discovered uh, of late over the past couple of decades, and so forth and the mathematical equations and the quantum realms of things and all the scientific biological chemistry uh, elements of life as we know it's unseen to the naked eye and only seen with a telescope or some form of frequency measuring uh, a device we've realized and begin to understand and comprehend that there's a difference between unseen forces and seen forces. So mind power is pretty much the embodiment and the envelope of these forces together. So it's not just one dimension, it's not just one aspect, it is the entire process. 
So that's what you want to consider. Hence, meditation, visualization, and watching such content is very important because it stimulates you and helps you understand what mind power is. So it's about your actions, it's about the obedience, and it's about you behaving in a manner that is conducive to the results that you want. So in other words, you can think correctly and you can feel the right feelings, but if your actions are inappropriate or incorrect, you will have negative repercussions in terms of the reactions and the responses, and then ultimately you've interrupted the mind power process and it doesn't become a full process like driving from point A to B. So from thought to manifestation, if there's an interruption that is somehow negative, It interrupts the whole process and you don't receive the desired outcome. So you end up achieving things that you don't want to achieve and that becomes what we then call failure or divorce or disease or illness or a virus or a complicated scenario that you don't want to experience. So mind power is very powerful. It can go more in depth. So um, that is our third and final installment. Actions are very important, so you, the way and the manner in which you behave and carry yourself within the community, within your company, within your family, within your relationships, if you're cheating on people, if you're lying to people, if you're always misrepresenting the truth, if you're not an honest person, your integrity, your dignity, your reputation, your character, your personality, it is very important when it comes to the entire topic of what mind power is. So we will be posting more information with regard to then how do we break it down? Because it's break, oh my goodness, it's a very broad topic. So we're gonna try our best to explain it. Um, We're gonna explain it from the mind power book perspective that we've written and published. It's got 12 chapters, 420 pages, and it is a mind form. Never mind a mouthful, but it is a mind form. So, uh, Bear with me. It will take a lot of uh, videos, but um, thank you for watching. And uh, we will be uploading uh, chapter one, which is your perception is your reality. That is chapter one to mind power. Thank you so much for tuning in.